Hi, have you ever wondered how to access the internet in a different way? Say in a way that you wanted to compute with the results? Okay, well I'm going to show you how to do just that. Now, this is a Mathematica tutorial in which we are going to build some functions to access the internet. Okay, which is pretty amazing. Now, I did a video a few days ago called how to rewrite articles automatically where I used a dictionary or just a list of words that I obtained online and I started programming with random words replacing a poem or the words in a poem with some random words well I've got that list in front of me now but I'm going to do something different with this list I'm going to uh, go and search on Google a combination of some random words okay and actually open up the website but to do this you have to take great care right because this is the entire collection of English words and you don't want to search something illegal right and that could happen so you need to go through carefully and delete words that may be problematic okay so I'm gonna do this right now because I know for starters that I don't want to get uh, words like these in my search you know words beginning with P so I'm going to go through this list and delete them um, because I don't want to search that okay I want this to be a clean exercise um, so pause for now okay having taken some uh, code from the tutorial that I did on rewriting articles automatically or more about mixing up a poem with the press of a button um, I will now show you what I built to do with that URL that I was going to build and click. Okay, so I've deleted all of the possibly problematic words from the English language list that I had because, of course, you don't want to uh, Google something that could get you in trouble. Okay, because now you're relying on um, random numbers to do that, right? So it's not really you, but you are the one who built the code, so do be careful okay I don't want to be liable for for what happens when you do that so I am not liable for this press these buttons at your own risk okay so I'll describe uh, the functions that I built All right, so this is one that we already had okay so this is the stuff where I'm saying you can go and replace those commands with the commands that Google would use. So as I said before, you can find this, this information on this website right here. And basically what you do is you write um, search and then question mark Q equals and then your search terms with plus separated between them. Okay, so that's what we would do um, to do that. Now, um, so this would open up the question, are rats smart in Google? All right, so let's just do it. Now you see it opens up this website and it's got that question here, are rats smart? All right, so I can close that, that's awesome. So now I said we're going to take this to the next level and so I've said, well the dictionary I ha had in memory that I put in memory was S and that's string split. So what that does is it um, puts commas between and creates a list out of the words. All right, n is the length of the the new list of words t, and those words are strings. All right, then z equals our rat smart. Now I don't think I actually need this. All right, and then I've got y equals string split z. Okay, this I didn't actually need, but anyway. All right, now I've got a function that uh, that just generates a random word. It's a function of k, but k is actually irrelevant. All right, so. This will just pull a random word out of that list. Okay, then I build another function that gives me x random words. Okay, a function of x called Tina gives me x random words or a list of x random words. Uh, okay, so then what I want to do is join those x random words into one string separated by a space. And that is called Tom. And I'm using the built in function string riffle. Right, which I'm applying to the function Tina of x. 
okay, to give me one string of x random words. Next, I want to replace the pluses by spaces so I can use this in the URL of a website. Okay, so I'm going to again use WALP, what I already created uh, for Wolfram Alpha and then P for some other word I had. Okay, so what that does is replace the spaces by pluses to make that suitable for searching. All right, but we already had that function. Okay, now I create a new function of x. And what that does, where x is a whole number, is it gives me um, the string of x words with pluses where the spaces are. And they're all random, right? So x random words where the where there are pluses where the space is word. Okay, so that's the function Sandy. And then I could execute it and see the print just to double check that everything's working the way ex I expect. Okay, next I've called this one goo rand for uh, Google and rand for random. Now what it's going to do is say uh, Q is equal to the, the random string uh, that we generate and then we're going to attach that to this URL right here okay and then this is going to generate a website with a random search in it okay and then finally this last one is going to actually open up that that website that's generated okay now this could be dangerous right so only do this at your own risk I'm going to run it now and see what I get all right, so hopefully it should show me what I've searched as well. Okay, so I'm going to press Shift and Enter. Remember, I've deleted all of the... What happened? I didn't get a web page. Uh, but I, it said I was going to search Urethratome Heli, Heliodrome Non Chronicle. Okay, that's what it was supposed to search. Now, why hasn't that gone through? So what about, okay, so Sandy seems to work. If I press this, that seems to work. Okay. So then I apply. String join, okay, that should work. So let's just try this one out. So I'll write goo, goo rant. And then what do I wanna do? I wanna make it a function of, oh, I see, you know what? I was just building the function, right? I was just building the function here. So I actually have to say what I want to search. So open three, shift enter, and then it works. Okay, brilliant. So what have I searched? Convulsedly varies dark, whatever that is. All right, but I see in the images some, some birds, drawings of birds. Okay, and then the Project Gutenberg. So maybe that some of that appears in a book. And then some other weird websites. Okay, I'll close that and try this again. Shift enter. Open up a website. Modificor modificatory seer thinkability. Okay. The new yearbook of phenomenology and phenomenological philosophy right oh all right let's try this one more time actually you know what i'll change that three to a five shift enter here opens up the website in scolion arios velveret's immuna pathology all right sure so then I get some websites on that stuff. Oh, what, what the heck, one more time. Terrific. 
acrocentric no towing shipment all right so you see you can do some amazing things with uh mathematica and the wolfram language but do take care do this at your own risk make sure that all of the offensive words or problematic words to search are out of your dictionary before you do it all right that's all i have for you for now i'll see you next time